Hi friends, today we will study living things. We see many things around us. There are various kinds of plants and animals which are living things. There are also large number of non-living things like rocks, moon which are natural non-living things. While car, television, mobiles are man-made non-living things. Living things have some common features amongst them. Number one, living things move on their own. They move in search of food and shelter or to escape from their enemies. Plants do not need to move around for food as they make their own food. Non-living things do not move on their own. The second characteristic of living things is they need air, water and food to live without which they will die. Non-living things do not need these things. Majority of plants have a green substance called chlorophyll in their leaves. Chlorophyll enables plants to make their own food by the process called as photosynthesis. Plants use sunlight, carbon dioxide from air and water from soil for photosynthesis. Animals cannot produce their own food so they eat plants or other animals. Some plants like mushrooms do not have chlorophyll. They grow on dead animals and plants. The third characteristics of living things is they are made up of cells. A cell is the smallest living part of a living things. Living things are made up of large number of cells. Cells are very small and can be seen only through microscope. Our body contains millions of different types of cells. Some small microorganisms are made up of a single cell, like amoeba. The fourth characteristic of living things is, they grow and change. We look different now than when we were a baby. Our height, weight have increased. Similarly, all living things grow and change. Ultimately, they all grow old and die. Non-living things do not grow. Fifth characteristics of living things is they respond to change around them. When we feel hot, we put on the fan. Similarly, when we feel cold, we shiver. When a dog feels hot, it pants to keep cool. The sense organs in animals enables them to respond to changes around them. Plants also respond to changes around them. For example, sunflower plant moves to face the sun. Non-living things cannot sense changes and cannot respond. The sixth characteristic of living things is they reproduce. All living things produce young ones of their own kind. Animals reproduce by giving birth to babies or by laying eggs from which babies hatch. Plants reproduce by producing seeds or spores. Non-living things cannot reproduce. Friends, while studying about the characteristics of things, scientists put them in group of similar things. Then they study the things in groups together. This makes their study easier. All the things that have life are placed under the group of living things. And all those without life are placed under the group of non-living things. Living things are divided into major groups like plants and animals. This is because plants and animals are different in the way they live, eat, move and reproduce. Both plants and animals are further divided into smaller groups. We will study about them in higher classes. Friends, that's all about living things. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. All the best.